everybody, Heather Lambert here, your scentsy lady, and this is Christopher, Christopher again. again. We did We're, the videos. <laughs> We're here with a little project, and to use do that project, we have a couple of supplies. We, got we have oil. some a scentsy fragrance flower. It's oil. This is our scentsy fragrance flower, and what else do we have? Markers. Markers! What in the world are we going to do with these markers? We're going to so, show you. Gonna... So this is fragrance flower is a new product from Scentsy and it is super cool. It's a jar of fragrance oil. So this is Cecil Avocado. This one, I think this one is, this one is Luna. I think this is Luna. And these flowers. So this is um, a flower that is made from solo wood. It is a very thin sheet of wood that someone hand folds each of those petals. You can see, and they connect them all together and make a beautiful flower. And then you stick the flower into the oil and it soaks up all of the liquid and then it diffuses the scent out the flower petals. So it's super, super pretty, right Christopher? Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna make it even prettier, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna color the edges of all of these flower petals. So when it goes into the oil, it'll pull the oil and it'll pull those colors, and it's gonna look beautiful. Yeah. Do we have to use all? The, do we have to color all of these? No, but we should do most of them, so it yeah. looks cool, don't you think? Yeah. All right. So I think we should do the three marker challenge. Ooh, I really want to go. What do you think? Okay, so I really don't. I'm gonna put them all in here, and no, you're gonna pick no. three. Marker I just challenge. Wanted, I want to just put it right here. And you're gonna pick three markers so the camera can see you. That's no, not that one. Up here. Oh mm man. -hmm. Okay, three marker challenge. Go ahead, don't peeking. One. Two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get a small one. <laughs> I'm trying to get. Oh. Cause you're cheating. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope I don't get brown. There we go. Okay, so got, the three marker challenge we have. Dang blue, it! Blue, purple. I did get red. Blue, purple, and green. Those are going to be really cool. I'll yeah. help you. Can I do some coloring too? Yeah, sure. I'm going to shuffle them. All right, here we go. So are we gonna? how are we going to do it? We're going to put a color in the middle and then the edges and then the outside, or are we just going to do it random all over? Like random all over. Just kind of random? Okay. Yeah. All right, your turn. All right. No, no, we'll use the same ones. No. Yeah, I'm only coloring one flower. Oh, man. Here we go. All right, you pick one of those. Green or blue? Which one do you want to start with? We can uh, take turns. How are you going to just use, use all the markers? I'm going to use this purple one. And so what we're going to do, you can either do edges or you can just do tips. Um, I'm going to do all along the edge here of the flower. So here's the cool thing about these flowers we can do a very special make and take Scentsy party. And that sound like fun, Christopher? Mm -hmm. So how that would work is you would invite all of your friends, um, just the edges. See how Mama's just doing the edges? Yeah. Yeah, just do the edges. Um, you would invite all of your friends to come to your house or somewhere and they would pre-purchase a flower. So the flowers are $16. And you would have them pay up front if they are coming. And I would order all of the flowers ahead of time. Um, and then when they arrive to the party, they get their flower. And then we spend some time at the party coloring our flowers together. So it's sort of like a crafty party. You spin it a little so we have it all spread around. Um, so sort of like a crafty party. It's a fun activity to do on a night out. If you have friends that are kind of crafty, um, we can get together and do a, a little make and take fragrance flower party. And then they get to take their creations home. And oh, it would be one. lots of fun. Is it scented? I don't think so. Um, all right. So we're going to put just put some marker. Let's show them our progress so far. See, so we're just um, putting a little color here and there. I've heard we agree. Uh, last time I did blue, so now I'm doing blue. Can I do some blue too? Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna do some blue. And we're just coloring in some edges all around the flower. Look at this. That was like dark. Isn't this kind of fun? 
Mm -hmm. I wish I could do use like different ones. What do you mean? Like different markers. Do you want to use more colors than just three? Yeah, then just All three. All right, you can pick as many as you want. Okay. That's fine, we can do whatever. We can do whatever we want. So if you are very creative, you could really get, um, I'm using red and black. Meticulous with this and. I'm gonna use red and black. So first do thing. something really cool design and, or make a cool pattern and alternate the colors. That would be fun. I'm sorry with black. You're putting black? Yep. Oh my goodness. And red. Black and red? Yes. I'm gonna use the green one. I like this green color. I'm gonna use green to kind of break things up a little bit. Maybe I'll put some pink. Would that be okay? Yeah. If I did some pink? Yeah, I'm done with the black. Done with black. So we are I'm coloring. Not even coloring. red. I just used blue and green and purple now. Now I'm gonna do red and black. I'm gonna use some um, pink. Actually, I like this color. This is not really pink, it's called Dead Rose. That means it smells. This is one of the stinky markers. Yep. Wait, let me smell it. Ugh. Well, it smells so bad. It does smell bad, but it's a pretty color. I'm gonna put some pink on it. It looks like, Cal looks like a lipstick because it's red. Because you think it looks like lipstick? Yeah, it looks like it because it's red marker. Look at it. Oh yeah, I guess so. I wonder if I put pink and blue on a petal, if it would turn. I wonder if it went red. If it will turn a different color. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Are we good or do we need more? I'm good, we're good. We're good? Um, did yep. we miss any? Um, I think we're good. We're pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna fill this one out a little bit. Look at mom, look at that. Put this one in a little bit. I'll put this one in a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we've colored the flower. We've just the edges. And then we're gonna stick it in the oil. These oil. All right, so there is actually a pretty. Here is the oil. Where's the pretty top? Here it is. Yeah. Go ahead, take that off. So we're gonna take this off. So we're gonna. Now we gotta take this. Um, so it has a, a sealed cap. We have to take this out. And then we put this pretty top on. And then we stick the flower in the oil, and it's gonna soak up all that oil. Oh my gosh. Into the petals, and in a few minutes, it'll be all up in the petals, and then it'll start to draw that color down into the flower. Oh. And it's gonna be so yeah. cool. So we'll have to come back and show them in a few minutes mm -hmm. how it looks after it starts um, soaking mm -hmm. up that oil. Okay? Yeah. So, fragrance flowers, um, if you'd like to host your own make and take flower party, um, just message below or shoot me a message and uh, we'll pick a date and get you all set up for your flower fragrance flower make and take craft night. Mm -hmm. That could be fun, right? Don't you think that would be fun? Mm -hmm. Craft night. Get the girls together. Mm -hmm. Be a fun thing to do. Um, just message me. We'll get it all set up. Say bye. Bye. Can you push stop?